kotse ba? Fail kotse na. Connectivity ang isa sa mga deciding factors na hinahanap ng younger car buyers ngayon sa isang sasakyan. Siyempre nga naman, mahirap yung gagalawin mo pa yung smartphone mo habang nagmamaneo sa daan. Bukod sa illegal dahil sa anti-distracted driving law, delikadong ganun. Kaya naman malaking ginahawa kapag ang kotse mo ay may Apple or Android connectivity para lahat ng controls, pwede mo magawa sa head unit, sa steering wheel buttons, or via voice assistant. Swerte mo kasi kung ngayon ka maghanap ng sasakyan na ganito, madami ka ng options na mas attainable in either sedan, hatchback, or crossover bodies. I'm Stanley Chi and pag-uusapan natin ngayon ang affordable cars with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Subscribe na kayo sa channel namin para updated kayo sa latest videos tulad ito or sa newest cars sa market. Nangunguna sa listahan ay ang Kia beginning with their Picanto EX or Picanto X that starts at 700,000 pesos. Aside sa Apple and Android, naka 1.2 engine nito that gives 83 horsepower and 122 newton meters of torque kaya mas buhay ito i-drive kahit maliit. Split folding na din ang back seats para sa versatile cargo space. Kung kailangan ng mas malaki, meron silang soluto that starts at 720,000 pesos. Meron itong 7-inch touchscreen with Apple and Android, 6 speakers and rear camera. Kapag gusto mo ng mas mataas pa, available ang Kia Stonic Crossover that starts at 735,000 pesos. Kahit base model ito ay merong 8-inch touchscreen with Apple and Android, 6 speakers and rear camera with dynamic guidelines. Next ay ang JAC S2 that starts at 748,000 pesos for the manual version. Recently updated lang ito at nilagyan na nila ng 9-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto dahil na din sa customer demands. Meron na din itong rear camera, hill start assist, and stability control. An equally small crossover is the Cherry Tigo 280 at 770,000 pesos. Medyo upmarket ng styling nito with a dual-tone interior and leather seats. Tapos syempre, yung 8-inch touchscreen with Apple and Android connectivity. Meron na ding traction control, stability control, and hill start assist para di na mahirapan pag out-of-town trips. Kung gusto nyo ng mas distinct and unique styling, take a look at the Hyundai or Hyundai venue at 915,888 pesos. Small and rugged din ang datingan nito pero mas premium ang exterior look dahil sa kanyang front grille. Inside is an 8-inch touchscreen with, alam nyo na, Apple and Android. It has a 1.6-liter engine that produces 121 horsepower and 151 newton meters of torque, paired to a 6-speed automatic for both variants. Aside naman sa Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, madami pang notable specs sa mga kotse na nasa lista na to. Kung gusto nyo makita pa kung ano ang meron sila, punta na kayo sa car guide namin sa fill kotse. Tuloy tayo sa lista natin, this time sa mga sedan ulit. Simulan natin sa Honda City S CVT, priced at 888,000 pesos. Solid ang mid-range variant na ito ng City dahil aside sa touchscreen na merong smartphone connectivity, keyless entry na rin ito at may hill start assist, stability assist, and speed sensing door locks. Siyempre, nakakatulong din na sobrang pogi ng exterior niya. Siguro ang pinakamadali na definition ng defensive driving is driving with the expectation that the other driver is going to do something incredibly stupid. You should always give me. Ilang segundo lang naman yun. Uh, return the favor. Ikaw uh -huh. naman ang magbigay sa iba. Huwag niyo stressin yung sarili niyo. Ikaw naman yung magbigay. Huwag nang mahuli sa usapan. Pakinggan ang informative na kulitan ng Phil Coche Shift Happen sa Spotify. Check nyo lang yung link sa itaas or sa description sa ibaba. Next is the Suzuki Sias GL at 888,000 pesos. Bagong hilamos lang din ito dahil kaka-launch lang earlier this month. Medyo ertigang vibes ito with its classy styling nakita sa front grille pero distinct pa din sa Suzuki lineup. It has an 8-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well as standard safety features like dual airbags, ABS with EBD and rear camera. Sa MG naman, you can have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto with the MG5 CVT style priced at 848,888 pesos. Meron na ding itong automatic headlights, power folding side mirrors, tire pressure monitoring system, and many other safety features. Kung crossover, 
Sagot pa din kayo ng MG with the ZS Alpha priced at 998,888 pesos. Last brand sa ating listahan ay ang Toyota na may tatlong affordable models with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Una na dito ang Wigo TRD that comes in at 700,000 pesos. Sporty ito with its exterior styling at techy naman ang amenities dahil meron itong push start button and power folding side mirrors. First in its class. Sunod dyan ay ang isa sa mga sikat na sedan sa kalsada, ang Vios. Starting sa XE variant priced at 753,000 pesos, magkakaroon ka na ng 6.75-inch touchscreen with Apple and Android connectivity. Last is another hatchback na hindi masyadong pansinin ngayon dahil may kapangalan nito na mas sporty. The Yaris E comes in at 973,000 pesos and it already comes with 6.75-inch touchscreen with Apple and Android. Kompleto na din ang safety features ito with 7 airbags, ABS with EBD, and brake assist, stability control, and hill start assist. That wraps up our list of affordable cars with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I'm your host, Stanley Chi, ang inyong senpai ng turbuhan na nagpapaalala sa inyong lahat. Mag-subscribe na kayo sa channel namin, then click the bell icon para updated kayo for new videos. So paano ba yan? Itakits tayo sa susunod na video. Bye-bye! Thanks for watching! For the latest news, reviews, and anything you want to know about cars and car ownership, visit philcoche.com. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Spotify para hindi ka huli sa usapan. Tandaan! Koche ba? Phil Koche na!